Hey everybody, I'm going to read something real quick, and I'll see if you guys like it, okay? This Adorata. Go placid among the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly. I and listen to others, even the dull and ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter. Far fair always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep her interested in your career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in business and affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let, let this not blind you to the virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everyone, everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially. Do not uh, foreign affection. Neither be critical about love. I for in the face of all adridity and disenchantment. It is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years. Take kindly the counsel of the years. Gracefully surrender the things of youth. Nurture strength of the spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune. But do not distress yourself with the images. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness beyond a wholesome discipline. Be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it's clear to you, know about the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive him to be. Whether your labors and aspirations and the noisy confusion of life keep peace with your soul. With all its sham and drudgery and broken dreams, it's still a beautiful world. Be careful. Strive to be happy. Max Ehrman. Should I read it one more time? I read it one more time for those that missed it. Disseranta. Go placidly among the noise and the haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence, as far as possible without surrender. Be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clarity, and listen to others, even the dull and ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations on the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter. Fair always, there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as your plans. Keep interested in your career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in business affairs. For the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself. Especially do not, do not foreign affection. Neither be cynical about love. For in the face of all adridity and disenchantment is a perennial of the grass as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years. Gracefully surrender the things of youth. Nurture strength of the spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune. But do not distress yourself with imag imagining many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, the gentle, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive him or her to be. And whatever your labors and aspirations and the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. With all its sham and drudgery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be careful. Strive to be happy. Max Ehrman.